Hello everybody out there in the Dolly Cam. I am Rachel and I am here with Wendy. We are at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls and Toys. Today is National Doll Day and so we are going to bring you something so very special. We are going to chat with Wendy about what's going on here at the museum. Uh, details about the fall show that we are sponsoring and so excited about and we're going to give you a tour of this wonderful wonderful museum a gem here in Colorado so Wendy how are you doing today we're pretty good it's been a busy week you know summer and visitors yes and so. lots of visitors so what is this is the last weekend of the museum being open in this location yes. can you tell us a little bit about that well after 31 years um, History Colorado, the state of Colorado, decided they wanted to make more money from this building. So they couldn't renew our lease. So we've been looking for a new building in the Metro Denver area. So if somebody is watching this and people from all across the country are watching this video yeah. and a lot of people in Colorado, how could somebody help get you connected or help the museum reach that goal? There's so many ways. The first one is just telling other people uh, because it's like you never know who you know who knows someone. Um, we're also saying anyone who's involved in city governments mm -hmm. um, or used to be involved in city governments because sometimes those city connections can just provide the right amount of mm -hmm. oomph behind a claim on or an offer on a property. Um, of course, money. Of course, um, of course money. We also money. tell Absolutely. people, uh, you know, when you're driving around the metro area, uh, you know, if you see something and you're like, that would make the best museum. Um, to just call us, so we'll get we'll get phone calls that are literally like addresses. Mm -hmm. um, go look. Different ones, <laughs> yeah. And and sometimes people know about buildings that go on before the market. We've had some really nice community members contact us about properties, saying we're looking at selling our property. We'd like to offer you first first dibs. Um, so that's been a really nice. And those unfortunately haven't worked out. Some are just too small. Right. Um, and some are you know, then we got outbid later on, but. But you're working on it. We're working on so it. So as we chat, let's just go yeah. in here into the museum. So speaking of community, mm -hmm. your museum and the work that you do here is absolutely beneficial to the community. You are a community resource. What are some of the things that the museum does on a monthly, weekly, yearly basis? Well, we, we talk about dolls, we talk about miniatures, and we talk about all these things that people sometimes have problems saying are, you know, oh, those aren't important. And right. then what we can say, well, but remember what your doll meant to you. Uh, my gra my grandmother talks about how her dolls were her best friends because um, she had a lot of health issues. Um, and we have people that come in, families that will say, grandmothers will say, this was my doll. And then little granddaughters will be like, that's better than the dolls today. Um, right. Or just that sort of generational mm -hmm. talk. It is, and it helps change the conversation of the new generation saying horrible things like dolls are creepy and all oh, and know, all of those things that we just do not appreciate. No, I know, and it's funny because it's every time someone's like, "Oh, that doll's so creepy," I'm like, "I will." There are some dolls that are a little unnerving, um, even some in our collection. Uh, but you know, then I'm always like, "Oh, you have no idea what this doll has been through." I know, and so many of the dolls are just such works of art. I Absolutely, think people don't don't even realize until they. We can say, oh, but look, you know, our Colorado Japanese friendship doll. Look at the detail on her kimono. Right. Look at how her face was formed. Look how she looks like a real child. Exactly. Um, and look what she, she was an ambassador of friendship. I mean, not many of us can say that. Right, exactly. So I'm sure you've had a lot of people that have come to this museum uh, having a notion in their head and then they came out on the other side saying, oh my gosh, I so appreciate this. Here's a donation and I can't wait to come back. This is the Someday House, which the story behind this is so romantic. Can you yes. fill our viewers in on, on the story behind this house? Yes, so a woman named Bets O'Mara always said, someday I'm going to have a dollhouse of the house I grew up in, someday. And then in 1970 or eight, her husband said that someday is now. And he had had this house built for her by local dollhouse maker, Norm Nielsen. And she and her family spent decades refurnish, or furnishing it and seeking out the best artists to recreate family heirlooms. And then there's little secret jokes in there too. Like she actually has little mementos of all of her grandchildren. And so she wonderful. loved her time in Egypt. So see, she has some miniature Egyptian relics that are um, contemporarily made. It's just such a wonderful house and the scale is just Fabulous. Huge. It's so huge. It takes up almost this entire room. Mm -hmm. 
We're just enjoying this so much. We're gonna go on a little self-guided tour because I know that you're very yeah. busy here with the day, but can we chat real quick about mm -hmm. the upcoming show that we're so excited yes. about? Yes, we're so excited about the fall show. We have, um, we're actually having more registrants than we've seen in a really long time. Yay. It's gonna be five days of workshops. On the Thursday night, we're having a free lecture. Um, actually, it's a bunch of miniature artisans that are gonna be there just answering questions and doing 15 minute demos. And that will be down in Greenwood Village. Um, we have two days of sales room. We have banquets with amazing auction items. Um, we have a brunch. We, it's just the amount of stuff we have so much and, and we're gonna family activities we have a kids only shopping area so alone it's friendly so we can just get that next generation mm -hmm. going right. on these hobbies yeah and the next generation children especially just love miniatures mm -hmm. anything that's miniature is just so much fun who can resist right no we just had a woman in and she was in her 20s and she collects barbies so she was visiting barbie's hometown and then she bought um she found in our gift shop a little mug that said barb oh my gosh and how perfect i know i was like i didn't even know we had i love it always on the hunt well wendy we're we are going to be linking to the website promoting this video thank, thank you. you so much for everything for that you've support. done hey we we love you and so we we're so excited to be here and we yeah. we're here for you in the long haul so thank yes, you yes we do appreciate our community it's what built this museum right all right thank you wendy and don't miss the wpa dolls here we go we're heading right over so that was wendy she is the director and um, wonderful curator. She's always been so gracious to us in sharing the wonderful collection here at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls and Toys. They have fabulous WPA dolls on display over here. I hope you can see them pretty well through the glass. It's um, WPA dolls are just, uh, it stands for the Work Progress uh, Administration, which was part of Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal program and it gave work to artists and seamstresses who were struggling during the Great Depression. So these dolls are super collectible, highly sought after, and they really stand for something important. Um, the dolls were used in schools and in department store displays, and these particular dolls are beautiful examples. They're just in gorgeous condition. So this, this wonderful museum really has so many great things on display. Their collections are exact replicas, perfectly in scale, and historically correct in detail. Everything in the museum has the best craftsmanship. I mean, if you love miniatures, this is just a gem, a wonderful place to go. We love dollhouses for so many reasons, the past, the present, and the future. It's such a wonderful way to learn and to travel. And dollhouses and miniatures are just the delight of many, many, many people and children. People, chil people are, children are people, but just people of every age, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Here is a Miss Yokohama, a friendship doll. And this house is wonderful. It's a 1850s French kitchen. Look at that furniture. This is style is uh, what's called as the Brittany French. And this room is scaled at 1.5 inches. So 1.5 inches equals one foot. We're gonna be going up the stairs here in a minute, but they have changing exhibits that have different themes. Right here is the Harry Potter. And then in this room, and I have personally been to tea a few times, they host uh, Sunday teas, which are so much fun. There's some educational material on Miss Yokohama. So what we are going to do next is go upstairs. 
A lot of you are gonna have to watch this video a few times because there is so much to see. But look at this old house, we just love it. a little Bebe Jumeau in a trunk. Some Bisque dolls. That's a sweet little Stife. He looks like a Stife Teddy. Really cute over there. That's a, that's a nice one. This looks like a handwork. Great wig on that doll. I don't know if you can see those too well, but those are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I used to love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But how cool is this? It's a real old house and a miniature museum. Here is a display of die cast cars. So it's not just dolls, it's not just miniatures, it's toys, it's all kinds of things. And this house is huge. Here's Barbie. That looks like a number one right there. She sure does. So these wonderful dollhouses and miniatures have all been donated by wonderful people that put so much time, energy, and love into them. Sometimes they're a little hard to see through the glass. Here's a fun little collection of international dolls. Greece. This is one of my favorite ones in the collection. It's the Santa Fe home. It's a magnificent, wonderful, big Santa Fe home. The rugs are hand woven. It's just so fantastic. There's food on the table. There's kachinas atop the clay oven over there. Just every little detail. There's, she, there's a woman in the kitchen cooking. I mean, it's just, it's so great. This is a gun case that was converted into a dollhouse. How cool is that? Makes a great dollhouse. It really does. There are so many things that I've seen converted into dollhouses from armoires. I've, I've even seen a, a guitar. And then of course, if you remember Polly Pocket, who does not love Polly Pocket? They have such a great display of Polly Pocket from the very beginning up until now. Comment on this video if you had a Polly Pocket or you're children had Polly Pockets, or if you remember Polly Pockets, we want to know. 
Polly Pocket was one of my absolute, absolute favorites. These are some super quality, super, super, super quality miniatures. And this German cabinet house is actually on loan from the Denver Art Museum. Or maybe it's not on loan. It, I think it was gifted from the Denver Art Museum, but it was originally from there. And it is so fantastic. It's 1700s. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. If you appreciate museums and you appreciate this kind of content please 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 share the video this is the last this weekend is the last weekend for the Denver Museum of Miniatures to be in this space and we want them to know how much we appreciate them and how much the world appreciates them and we want them to get some awareness so they can get a new space so we can come, keep come, coming to see the wonderful items that they have and that they are continually changing their exhibits and doing programs every weekend for children. And they just do so much for the community. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and for sharing and commenting on the video as our social media warriors out there. That's the best thing that you can do for this content is to share it and to comment on it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy, happy, happy National Doll Day, everybody.